Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, earlier we saw the dolphins. I think they were spinner dolphins. I'm not absolutely sure um, from my readings in the past. That was the first time I ever saw a dolphin that close. The conditions were optimal because the water was really flat. I hope to God that I took the lens cap off. That's my one concern at this point. But right now, we're on top of the boat. Just kind of panning around. We're heading over to Sandbar now to have a lunch of lechon, my boy, that Rodney, the boss, has so graciously provided. So we'll resume filming when we get over there. It's still high tide, so we can't see the sandbar yet, but it's down there. We got some other boats tied up here. People are swimming, getting their swim on. Oh, that wasn't good. Gotta do that one again. Yep. Everybody's hurt. <laughs> Glad we got that on tape. <laughs> He just goes limp and he goes flying. Dolphin Adventure. Pig. All right, so the pig has been devoured, and uh, everybody's out in the water, so we're gonna head out there now. Poor piggy. Poor piggy. Dabby <laughs> pull. Uh, 
Alright, so this is the recipe for disaster. I don't have the waterproof housing on the GoPro. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, it's hot as blazes out here. <laughs> Everybody's kind of huddling in the shade by the boat. Got some hardcore folks out here playing Fizbee. Hey, let's go check out this check. Let me go work my pickup techniques. Hmm. Wow, you're really good at frisbee. So uh, you come here often? No. It's your first time? It's my first time. So it's our very first time together. Wow. Oh. Watch those frisbees, they're all over the place. Alright, so my pickup techniques are still working. She digs me, man. Alright, so basically we're out in the harbor at Baiz. There's a sandbar here. And tide is slowly going down. So that uh, when it's completely low tide, it's completely exposed. And you got these little bungalows out here in the water. They rent for six... <laughs> thousand pesos a day. I just had to duck it on the frisbee. They go for six thousand pesos a day, which is kind of steep because there's no running water or electricity or anything. Although that one does seem to have provision for solar. So basically, what happens is boats come in, they dock, everybody has like a picnic lunch after going to see the dolphins and stuff. They have a few drinks, got some music playing. Over here, they're giving a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, so that's cool. So this is pretty nice. And this is cool for people that don't swim either, because it's kind of hard to drown when the water's, you know, three feet deep. So, so far it's been a really beautiful day. Got to see dolphins for the first time. Really close. I hope to God I had the, the uh, lens cap off the camera. Had a really good lunch. Lechon, baboy, carrot cake, shao mai, all kinds of good stuff. And uh, tomorrow I'll just deal with the sunburn. I don't know if you can see, kind of slathered in uh, sunscreen products right now. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working too well. Alright, so that's Baiz, and that's our day whale watching. I'd like to thank uh, Glow. Global offices working or something. I forgot what it stands for. God, that's a horrible endorsement. Well, I'm not getting paid for this anyways. And thanks to Rodney for uh, organizing all this and providing the late on by boy. And it was nice meeting all his employees. And Michelle seems to be working with a really cool bunch of people, which is awesome, because that's the most important thing in a job, is liking it and liking the people that you work with. From Baez, this is Philippine Dreams. See ya.